Hola, hola chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy acá en Chagra y vamos a continuar con Vampire y no sé si se lo digo bien, ¿no? Vampiro, como quieran llamarlo. En este episodio, eh, veamos. Hay que ir a, bueno, al lugar lejano donde nos marcaron, pero hemos estado pasando por estos lugares y abriendo con cafecitos, buscando weá, porque siempre es bueno, las medicinas y los detalles y todo. La verdad es que hemos encontrado muchas weá. Ahora lo que habría que hacer es como que volver a hablar con las personas. Este es el pueblo. Aquí están. Aquí hay gente enferma. Ahora yo no. No los he visto. O sea, estoy, estoy aquí simplemente desconocido. No hay nada de información, si se dan cuenta. Yo no tengo información alguna sobre ellos. Cuando pasa un día, pasan muchas cosas. Así que antes de pasar un día, eh, vean bien qué va a pasar. Porque, pues, cada día que pasa, al, eh, cambian cosas en, lo, en los poblados, por decir así. Así que es bueno, antes de, antes de acostarte a dormir o antes de dar puntos, eh, junta la mayor cantidad de puntos posibles. Porque perder un día es... Uh, es eh, muy importante y lo diría yo en este juego ¿eh? no lo pierdan, no lo pierdan guárdenlo, esperen, vean bien eh, vean bien vean bien, una vez que tengan los puntos necesarios ya ahí recién pierden el día pero, o sea, pasan de día pero no, si no tienen un, buena, harta, harta experiencia por decir así, no, no lo hagan es un consejo que les doy no, no lo hagan Ahora tengo que seguir avanzando. No voy a escondir, escondir. Ah, miren, acá hay nuevas escondidas. El cofre de municiones. Ahora, yo no usaría municiones, ¿ah? ¿eh? Por lo menos yo. Aquí eh, pues podemos fabricar cosas. Ahora, no. Tengo eh, tratamiento para la neumonía, para la bronquitis, tratamiento resfriado. Ahora yo sé, bueno, yo prefiero mirar aquí qué es lo que podría tener la gente, ¿ok? Resfriado, no se sabemos. Voy a hacer una, una poción de resfriado para tenerla para cuando lo vea. Ah, pero no tengo fragmentos de potasio y este es mi arma sí. este es mi arma principal y me faltan cosas No tengo muchas weas. There's one of them. Watch yourselves. Compadre. No, yo no soy joder. Yo soy un mamilo. Ese es el problema, ya me da pena. Bro. Antes le tenía miedo, me acuerdo de mi primera pelea, bro. era como oh, brígidamente man, increíble. Mi primera pelea contra un humano de nivel 10 fue increíble. A mí contra un ghoul de nivel 19, me acuerdo cuando me mataron 10 veces. Bro. Aún recuerdo eso. También fue increíble, o sea, no, no, cre no creía que, que me mataran de un puro golpe, o sea, era como que no, 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 no me cabía dentro de mi pensamiento, era como que no, no lo entiendo. Soy vampiro, soy fuerte porque me matan, no, ese era como el pensamiento que tenía, era, ese era mi pensamiento. Pero los Slark, que así se llaman creo, eh, son 
fuertes, entonces no. No lo tomen. No, no tomen estas cosas. Cualquier cosa, que no lo tomen. No son cualquier cosa, créanme. No sé si estos carteles realmente valen la pena mirarlos. Pues simplemente mierda, no tengo ni idea. Aquí... Hola. O sea, podría ir directamente a la misión, eh. Todo el distrito es grave. Ahora he conocido más distritos que es esto. No, ese es el distrito. O sea, me acerco a las puertas porque quiero ver si es que puedo acceder a ellas. Ahora. Ahora de ahí a que estos tipos se me acerquen. tengan miedo, traten de tener este garrote y denle duro Eso es lo que les puedo decir eh... ¿Por qué me diría acá? Cuando ven, ven lo que eres. Como, oh Dios santo. Este es el más fuerte de todos. Es nivel 2, no es nivel bajo. Más que el daño que me hacía, yo creo que era la resistencia que tenía. Era muy grande, weón. Bueno. Eso es como lo que pienso yo. No lo veía tanto por el daño, lo veía más por la resistencia. Pero hay dos distritos. En... Estas casas se ven que, o sea, pareciera que hubiera gente, bla, 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 pero no hay nadie. Sí. 
te hacen pensar de que de que hay gente pero no. y aquí ya estaríamos llegando a la misión que nos están pidiendo Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Petrescu. Encuentra Darius Petrescu y habla con él. Bueno, yo no sería escopeta, la verdad, no sé. No sé si más adelante sea necesario jugar con escopeta o una, no sé, una pistola. Porque igual he, he agarrado cartucho, pero... No tanto. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing. You don't have anywhere to go? No family that would welcome you? Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. Everything's coming up roses. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I will see you later. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just he just faked me last nerve. Hello, boy. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just... A... Well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. A gun, alcohol. Pero me abrió, me dio algo. Cada vez. Se... Piss, stinking alley, breaking worse than a. 
Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Goodbye. No hay absolutamente nada aquí, hay información, migraña, agotamiento, resfriado. Este tipo está enfermo. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. I will see you later. Goodbye, young man. Some you'll understand. As long as you have the money. You've wasted. Good evening. A gun, alcohol. So what that means, the effectiveness has been proved. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow here. Tell me, who intrigues you most in my town? The region itself is something to see, but I would say... Camellia, the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Loretta. Your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swamborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? <laughs> Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. Well, as it is a placebo of sorts, perhaps it may have some positive effect. See? You have to admit I'm doing some good. The Swanborough family is not poisoning anybody, Doctor. It's incredible, the story, man. It's like the most bizarre. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Come on. I'd like to see what kind of... Come on.
potasse. No sé qué me falta, pero ella vende cosas igual. Ahora... Yo necesito ir allá. ¿no? Necesito preparar un par de brebajes para ayudar a gente. ¿no? Un par de brebajes. You pay for peace of mind. Welcome, sir. Uh, please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Joe Peterson, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then? It's an Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse, and quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu, something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Right then. You're giving me well. Yo tengo 300 monedas, pero tengo que ver bien qué quiero comprar porque no voy a comprar cualquier mierda. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. You are a criminal who endorses criminal activity. The least you could do is stop hiding behind this pretense. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your 
By all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. May I ask what you do around here? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Me están hablando de mucha gente extra, okay? Better, better, it's a good amigo. Te han salido un montón de gente, weón. Aquí no sabes. Un resfriado, migraña, agotamiento. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye and knock him out. It's como peligroso, sí. Según lo que lo que está diciendo este tipo, es como que. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane. Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Ahora el cautivar. Aquí me sale más información, mis electros. Están, están Goodbye, Mr. involucrados física, o sea, físicamente, eh, amistosamente, por decirlo de alguna forma. Ahora, él no sabemos quién es. Ah, no, ese es lo que. Eh, ahora, yo dije que quería. ¿Qué le cago? Eh? Ah, mira, no puedo entrar, bro. I suspect they would rather not be disturbed for now. It's locked, all right. O sea, necesito el, el lugar este para poder entrar a ver si se acaba. Para poder ver el tema de las medicinas y esa weá, porque no voy a fabricar por fabricar. Pero sí les quiero dar medicina a estos tipos. Ahora no voy a darme experiencia, o sea, no voy a subirme ninguna habilidad eh, por ahora, porque la verdad que no, no tiene mucho sentido nada más. Ah, pero pareciera que no es una casa la acogida, fíjense. Porque por lo que veo, fíjense que está bien... Bien cabona la weá. Mucha sangre. Eh... O sea, pensé que era como en la casa donde yo podía dormir, bla bla bla. O tal vez es, o tal vez sí es, no sé. Sí, sí es. Debo trabajar en la mierda. Esa puerta cerrada por, por ahora. Ahí puedes sacar mierda. Y esta es la puerta que se abre a 
Ya, es la otra entrada, pero no sé si podré entrar por aquí ahora, weón. Bueno, la cagué, parece. Porque quería crear, quería crear unas cosas, pero no, no pensé que me iba a pasar. ¿Podré entrar? Sí, sí puedo. Ahora puedo entrar. Ahora sí, eh, antes de ir para otro lado, ya, y era una, una era, eh, perganato sí, de potasio, ya, eso es algo que tengo que comprar, eh, ella, ella vendía perganato de potasio, si no me equivoco, ella, resfriado, Migraña y agotamiento. Cuidado, migraña y agotamiento. Esto, de mía. Bronquitis, resfriado. Mm. Ahora es que yo no sé, weón. Voy a reciclar esta weá. No me interesa nada que no va a tener cosas. Puedo reciclar y con eso tener acceso a al perganato de potasio si sí es algo que quisiera comprar, la verdad. Ahora puedo crear algo, creo. Tengo algo. Resfriado. Eh. Creé un agotamiento y una vez resfriado. Ahora no tengo una para la cabeza. Pero le voy a comprar ahí el perganato de potasio. Y acá hay, acá hay algunos amigos míos. No me había dado cuenta, esas huevas eran... se podían vender o se podían reciclar. Saqueando uno de ellos mismos, ¿no? raro. Bueno, no sé si raro, la verdad, porque estos tipos de putas son capaces de cualquier cosa, así que ahí. No sé quién tenía. La migraña la tenía este otro tipo, y la otra weá la tenía. <ríe> la tenía la otra flaca, o sea, el, el hueón este. Como que por un momento se ve lento, pero no sé por qué motivo. Eh, voy a volver donde estaba, que era acá. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye. Ahora, en este puto pueblo. El niño se, se va a recuperar. Eh, la migraña no la tengo. Resfriado, ¿dónde está este banco? Ah, 
Ese fue el tipo que yo rescaté, weón. Ahora... Eh... Ahora no... I'd like to see... Esta weón. Podría ser, pero chicos, ya lo voy a dejar hasta acá. La verdad es que me, se me quedé pegado y se me pasó el tiempo. Así que nada, ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten el video, comparten el canal y los veo.